Danny Schroeder, and I'm a member of the American Society of Civil Engineers. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the activity Slender Tower Challenge at home. You can find this activity with relevant vocabulary and other instructions at our website at asce.org slash pre-college outreach. Look for the headline, Everyday Engineering. Engineers who design buildings are called structural engineers. And with structural advances in technology, we are able to imagine and design new skyscrapers that are taller than ever before. As cities are already filled with buildings, engineers have limited space to build skyscrapers, so they need to build up instead of out, hence the slenderness of most skyscrapers. For this activity, you will need the following materials. 10 sheets of paper, preferably scrap paper if you have it, scissors, and a roll of tape. Your task is to build the tallest tower with the smallest footprint you can with these materials. Let's take a look at my example. As shown in my model, an important part of any tower is a sturdy base or a foundation that helps the slender tower keep its balance. Skyscrapers work in a similar way. Having a large base that is firmly attached to the earth helps support tall buildings, even when they get pushed around by wind, storms, and even earthquakes. The more stable your base, the taller your tower can be without toppling under the load. Good luck with your designs. As this is called the Slender Tower Challenge, once you have a successful tower, try again with either the goal of making it taller with the same footprint or making it the same height but with a smaller footprint. Please send your pictures and questions to outreach at asce.org and keep on engineering!